And the foundation design for this structure, for a structure, you will click on, you have to click on story 00. Here you have to see only the columns. Now, the kind of the five bedroom duplex is a part foundation. So to do a part foundation for a concrete building, you just click on the column. After clicking on story 00, you click on the on one of the columns, right click and say insert part base. So you wait for the dialog box to appear. Now at this place, you have to fill in your parameters. I'll fill in my footing depth. I want my footing depth to be 300. So I'll take 300. I will leave this this the, the, the way it is. Then eccentricity 00, then thin. Uh, I've already filled in our uh, soil bearing capacity, which is the allowable stress of soil, which is the bearing capacity of the soil to be 135, from which we got from the geotec geotechnical um, investigation. That base dimension is 1.1 meter by 1.1 meter. Now, the main thing you have to check on this foundation design for part base is to check for punching. So I have to check for punching check for punching check. This place, the punching check must be okay at the face of the column. The point the punching check must show okay at 1.5 D distance from the Face of the column and the and also on direction one and on direction two. You must show okay. The next thing now which I'll check again is for the moment design. Now we check for shear. The shear at the face of the column must be okay, and the shear at distance D from the column must also be okay. So for the foundational design of the of a part on Orion on, on a product structure to be okay. This uh, this punching check must be okay. The shear check must be okay, and the shear check on the other direction must be okay. Then also you look at your at your side of reinforcement and the spacing. Then you click okay. Then you now finally click okay. Now this is now our part base. So look at it on. To see how it is on the 3D view, I click and right click 3D view. You can see that we have designed the foundation, which is the pad foundation for this particular column. So we will do the same for all the columns that we have here. So I'll go back to plan view and continue. I click and start. So with this now, you don't feel anything again. Because since we have already done our first filling by inputting the parameter, we have to use the same parameter for all. So you just say calculate, square, check for punching, check for share on both sides. And you say if they are all okay, you say okay, okay. The same thing happens here. Insert, calculate, square. Check for pointing and share. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, the same thing happens. You just have to click, insert, update, square. Okay, okay. Always check for pointing and share. Don't just click okay and okay. Check for pointing and share, update. Square, click, check, OK, OK, and OK. And click this, applet, square, OK, 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 OK. 
Now this gives you the axial load. You can see it here, axial load moment. I, I just I just want to show you to, so they can see where you can get your axial load. Yeah, okay. The same thing happens here. Calculate square. Check for check for punching. Check they must be okay before you click okay and the final okay. Okay, I I pause the video just to save a little time so that the size of the video will not be too much for you guys to watch or download. So now we continue again to insert our part foundation. choose this area these two well okay there is overlapping so with this it will now prompt us to have a combined base so we have to create a combined footing a combined footing for this for these two columns so to create a combined footing you just highlight the two columns by click and and Click insert part base, calculate and square. The size is showing me one three one three thirty millimeter. So I'll say okay, but I want to reduce the moment. We only use axial. So this is how we insert part base for a combined footing. So this this is single. So I'll just insert and I'll say plates. Okay. Check for pointing. Check for share. They must be okay. No one must show fail. This should be a combined base. So I'll put this by click and I'll. I'll select the two columns by click and um, choose set combined selected footing and I'll right click and I'll click on insert part base and then calculate square and check flag for share and I'll say OK and OK. If maybe the size is not OK with you, maybe you want to use 1.2 by 1.2. You just delete this and click it by click, insert part base, calculate, square, then you have to increase it here, 1.2 by 1.2 that you want, then you say OK and OK. Oh, it's not centralized, so I come back, it's not centralized, you can see that, so I'll just delete, I need to again insert part base. This is how we insert part base. So looking at this now, we are done with our I really like to see this axis. I, I like to see them clear. So I'll just turn off this axis right now by clicking here. So the axis will be turned off. The axis will be turned off just seconds. 
okay you can see that the axes are turned off already um, so you can have a clear a, a clearer view of your 3d model if you want to turn back the axis you just click back here they will turn back so but i like to leave them off leaving them off doesn't have any effect except when you want to insert anything so now this is our um this is the combined footing you can see and this is the combined footing on the other side you can see them there too so this is we have done successfully a structural design for this five bedroom one story concrete building it's for residential purpose so you can see that we have done all the way from importing from autocad down to this stage right now so this is a full um, lesson or a full class for structural design of concrete in a, of a concrete building using portal structure okay so let's go back to which is the structural detailing then we'll now enter into drafting which we'll use autocad to prepare our drafting okay so let's get started for the next stage